This is the Columbia River. It has pretty high current and uh, where we were planning to go today is a dam down this, uh, this way south. Apparently it's called Seven Mile Dam um, and uh, head back to, to the highway uh, through the other way. But it all depends what time they will wake up. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but the main highway is going just up there on top of those mountains. And we are down in a canyon. Um, it's a beautiful river with a beautiful rocky location and a campground. And uh, we have another maybe 600 uh, kilometers to go home into Calgary. Um, it should take us pretty much most of the day. Uh, it's gonna be a longer day. Um, hopefully it's not gonna be too hot, but it is warm already. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I have to get home tonight uh, by eight o'clock. Okay. So um, I'm hoping that we will be able to do that. Uh, another thing is uh, we had an awesome time uh, with the boys. Uh, pretty much every day uh, we had some off-road riding. So basically uh, the only day we didn't do any off-road was uh, yesterday because uh, we had a stretch to get here from uh, Chain Lakes and we stopped uh, in Osoyoos for a quick dip in uh, Osoyoos Lake. A um, couple fruit stands on the way uh, with good fresh fruits and now it's time to get back to reality tomorrow. Um, yeah those trips are awesome i wish they were happening more often but unfortunately life is life and we got, we gotta do what we have to do so anyways uh, if you guys like that videos and uh, that my adventures and with uh, with my friends um, don't forget to hit the like button comment down below subscribe to the channel share the rides and so others can see the places uh, where are the good places to go in british columbia um, we had some that were pretty challenging and we had to turn around and some of it was awesome and uh, fully loaded bikes uh, took it with no issues so now it's time to have a quick tea and a bite to eat pack the tents and hit the road it is very early in the morning it's like 5 30 right at this moment the sun is just coming up so we are still thinking of hitting another off-road section here through Crownland. Um, I'm not sure, it all depends uh, what time the guys will wake up. Uh, I'm an early bird always, I'm usually up 5.30, 6 o'clock, doesn't matter what. Uh, um, I wake up this way every day. Anyway, so good times and uh, ride, out, ride safe out there, good boys, and enjoy the riding in British Columbia since we cannot go to states uh, as much as we would love to go to Utah again but uh, hopefully next year uh, they'll open up the borders and uh, we will be able to hit the Utah trails in the national parks um, always uh, our priority uh, for the last couple years uh, we were there a couple years ago uh, you can always check the video uh, on my channel from Utah uh, it's uh, that's a paradise for riders uh, and all kinds of riding uh, from highways to tarmac and uh, dirt uh, nothing probably better than what Utah has to offer so yeah I'm gonna start getting ready and I'll catch you guys on the road. So yes, this is the last leg of our adventure, leaving Beaver Creek Provincial Park in trail and heading back home. I got, as you see, 588 kilometers to cover today before eight o'clock. But uh, it's gonna be another toasting day. It's 24 degrees Celsius right now, and it is an 8.06 in the morning. Had a quick breakfast, tea, no coffee. Coffee will stop somewhere and grab a coffee because we gotta have a coffee later on. The last day of off-road, so the only day that we didn't do off-road is yesterday, basically. But we did a scenic route, so that's uh, twisties and uh, all that good stuff.
pretty technical actually, eh? It's doable, but not easy. Shit, look at those trees. Are there a fire or... Yeah, it looks like they burned. Bobenja, interesting. turn step on it bo wtedy masz bo jak masz cały czas musisz czuć że bike has traction the border hello USA yeah, I don't film it. <laughs> so there we are we just made it through seven mile road and seven mile dam and second time on this trip uh, we ended up by US border uh, it's called Nelway if I'm correct yep Nelway it is so the border crossing is right there, but we're stuck here. Uh, Utah, hello! <laughs> we can only dream about it. <laughs> next year. Maybe next year. There's always the next year there's a chance. So it was a nice trip uh, through the road, dirt road. Dusty again. Hate it. What can I say? Pussy. Pussy. The, and, and there's the guy speaking that he's always in the front and doesn't eat any dust at all. Think metric. 90 is equals 55. Just in case if American people are looking at their speedometers. So next fuel stop is Creston and coffee. It's a must-have since I didn't have coffee this morning. I'm living on uh, green tea. Normally by this time I have two cups. But it's not bad, it's 9.16 already. bad idea. Get that one. Pass elevation 
1,700 meters, 47 clicks away from Creston. Cranbrook, 364 kilometers to go. Time to grab a bite to eat. Burger King it is. And then carry on. And something cold to drink will be nice. A few moments later.
Fernie Mountain Resort just ahead of us. We are getting closer and closer to Alberta. But the views are just stunning today throughout the whole ride. Perfect sky. Visibility is just amazing. So I made it to Alberta and it's the last leg, just filled up, uh, 202 kilometers to, to get home, home sweet home, as much fun as it is, it's always nice to get home after quite a few days here, to, uh, 10 days we were away from the family, so I should be home by 6 o'clock and uh, that's the last day of filming and a uh, big adventure planned for this year there's gonna be some smaller ones uh, as well and my daughter wants to go with me moto camping it's scorching hot can't wait till get home and uh, feel the AC because right now all it is is just a wet t-shirt open jacket and as always uh, if you like the content hit the like button always comment down below subscribe to the channel if you are new here and share it uh, with your friends and uh, possibly that can give you new ideas for your uh, routes I gonna maybe put some uh, uh, description uh, which way we went uh, th then uh, you can uh, take the same routes if you want to so for now ride safe out there cheers and uh, see you in the next video and you can always check out my other content as well from the previous year and uh, other adventures.